Hello, thank you for joining the QLogic Acquires Brocade Adapter Business Webinar. Today our presenters will be Nick DeMaria, QLogic Senior Manager, Solutions Engineering, and Steve Garceau, QLogic Manager, Technical Marketing. I'll now hand it off to Nick and he'll get us started. Thank you very much, Lori. Today we're going to talk about why and how and what this is all about. The QLogic Acquiring Brocade's entire fiber channel and converged network adapter business. So basically, it's a strategic alliance between the two companies. And by us acquiring this technology, it has given us the ability to grow our market share. And so it, it means that we are immediately responsible for the entire line of Brocade adapters and all the products underneath that line. Brocade is no longer selling adapters. Brocade Engineering has also joined QLogic in this transition. So why do we do it? Well, why not take the number one fiber channel HBA company in the world and combine it with an allegiance with the number one fiber channel switch company in the world? Together, we can do an innovative storage networking solutions to meet all the marketing demands that are out there today. So we will be working together hand in hand to accelerate SAN innovation. And so the benefits of this strategic alliance are a couple of fold. One is it will accelerate the deployment of current Gen 5 solutions as well as be building new Gen 6 technology solutions for fiber channel. It also helped us in advanced solutions for the data center, especially the new data centers that are coming out today. And then for the end user, you'll be seeing some new end-to-end -end storage connectivity capabilities that are some things like diagnostic ports or end port trunking. You'll be seeing quality of service from initiator to target. You'll be able to see worldwide assigned names from the fabric side as well as target rate limiting and trunking. So the positioning is that we acquired a stable product line, meaning that today we sell the QLE brand, and today we also are now selling the BR brand, which would be the brocade adapter business. So from now on, you'll be hearing QLogic QLE and QLogic BR adapters. It's still standard in OEM form factors. Nothing has changed there. Still being sold through the same OEMs, the same partners and distribution channels, and the products will be coexisting with the current QLogic products. There will be no change or impact to QLogic programs or roadmaps. Steve, why don't you talk about the model numbers and where we're going with all that? Thanks, Nick. Uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the, the product side of things, some of the nuances, the characteristics, how you should think about it and position it in your mind. So first off, here's kind of a complete rundown of the QLE and the BR lines for all the fiber channel and the CNA products as well. As you can see, there's a lot of similarities between fiber channel and CNA in terms of the number of ports, a lot of commonalities there, but there are some, some uniqueness on the QLE side. For instance, in, in, the, if, in the four gig space, uh, we still have uh, some choices there. In the eight gig space, we do offer still a four port version. So if you need a, a higher port density count, uh, that's going to be a good play there. And then on the CNA side, we still offer single port uh, products as well. wanted to touch base uh, a little bit on the BR1860. This is a dual port uh, adapter uh, that offers both CNA and fiber channel functionality within the card. So it's a dual personality adapter. And the way to think of this is it's really the same card at birth, and, and during manufacturing, that's where the, um, the optics and the drivers are going to get set up. The cards are going to get figured to either go a CNA route or a fiber channel route. Um, and, of course, you can change that in the field at any time afterwards. It's very non-disruptive, very easy to do. But the unique thing about the 1860 adapter is that it has the dual personality on a per-port basis. It's not a per-card basis. Uh, like competitive cards that are out there. You could actually have one port be fiber channel and one port be CNA. So it's a, it's a really unique design. Wanted to talk a little bit about resiliency and how you should think about the positioning of, of the BR lines as well, in the QLE lines, as well as the competitive stuff that's out there as well. So if you look at um, resiliency or availability and port isolation, and it ranges really from uh, having fully dedicated resources on a per port basis, all the way down to having fully shared common resources uh, across both ports. So I wanted to just point this out because the QLE line does offer 
um, high availability architecture that's truly compliant with enterprise class uh, infrastructures and mission critical requirements that are going to be out there today. So this, this architecture is going to offer complete port level isolation across its dual port ASIC. The QLE 2672 design provides discrete functionality uh, with separate processor, memory, and firmware for each port. Let's take a look at the uh, ecosystem compatibility. So some of the hardware, the infrastructure, the servers, the arrays that are, uh, you know, some of the failover and, and, and uh, enterprise class software that's going to be uh, used with a lot of these systems. Um, the BR line is going to be great for uh, today's servers, today's uh, failover applications, today's storage arrays. Where, where the QLE line is really going to shine is its legacy. It's, it's 20 years of being in the market and re really ubiquitous uh, support across all the OEM platforms, uh, allowing end users to support heterogeneous server environments while maintaining storage stack consistency. The QLE adapters are going to have uh, really well more than 10,000 independent hardware and software vendor certifications from, again, 20 years of rigorous uh, partner and industry interoperability qualification. And looking at the software side, the operating side uh, of the equation, really the same kind of things apply. If, if you're looking at today's operating system, the, the, the BR line is going to be a great choice. It's, it's going to be compatible with everything that's out there today. Most of it is in-box support on those drivers. Where the QLE uh, line is going to shine, it's going to give you that and more. It's going to give you that, that legacy operating system support. And a lot of IT guys are saying, well, you know, I've already paid the license. Everything's working just fine in this older server with its older operating system. I don't really want to mess around with upgrades. The QLE line is going to be great for that. Again, leveraging 20 years of experience, lots of inbox support, and unified management there. The warranty. Um, the BR line is going to offer a three-year warranty. The QLE line is, is going to offer really the industry's only uh, portfolio of fiber channel and 10 gig Ethernet and, and CNAs that are backed by a five-year warranty. So QLogic has raised the bar for reliability in this area. Uh, data and storage network by helping customers to achieve higher returns on their investments uh, with critical data center that is ensured to be operational over a longer lifetime. So it, it better matches kind of that five-year magic number uh, that folks like to see in the data center. And lastly, I wanted to leave you, leave you with roadmap stuff. Talk about uh, the QLogic adapters are going to have a very uh, robust um, future in terms of speeds and storage and server protocols. Uh, the BR adapters are going to support today's storage protocols and speeds. So for fiber channel, uh, we certainly have a lot of investment in future architectures and features, uh, as well as alignment with next-gen caching solutions. And on the Ethernet side, you can see the roadmap all the way under up to 100 gig. Uh, again, a lot of investment in future architectures uh, and features, as well as bolstered by our recent Broadcom uh, Ethernet acquisition. And lastly for me, before turning it back over to Nick, would be to make sure that you guys are aware of our QLogic Signature Partner Program. Uh, a special welcome to all the brocade partners new to QLogic. Um, they, this, this is a great program, lots of great rewards, lots of great information, uh, as well as dealing with uh, leads and whatnot. So I encourage everyone to make sure you sign up uh, at the Partner Connection site and start earning those rewards and taking advantage of this great program. So Nick, uh, why don't you wrap it up from here? Thanks, Steve. So in summary, you will see the availability of the Brocade line of adapters, now QLogic. They are the BR line of adapters, no longer brocade adapters, but the QLE, they're the QLogic ones, and the BR are the new QLogic brocade adapters. So the business is to strengthen our number one position in the market, and this tighter relationship that we have with brocade now means quicker to market with new innovations and, and advanced data center technology. So our, our, what I wanted to really stop with, Steve, was the or talk about the dual personality card on that per port basis. I see this as a really cool technology. So when we were talking about this earlier and I was thinking about it, you're looking at a card with a dual port personality that one port could be 10 gig Ethernet, 
The other port could be 16 gig fiber channel. And where would this come in handy? And you're thinking about people building racks of servers today, one use servers. You could throw one of those cards in there. You could divvy up that 10 gig into four virtual ports, four virtual NICs to do whatever you need, and then have that 16 gig doing your fiber channel stuff. Put two of those in there, and you got redundancy, and you're done with your slots in a one use server. I think the redundancy is, is key, right? You know, yeah. as an SE, that uh, redundancy usually takes using up a lot more slots. Yep. make this sort of thing happen. So that's that's really the key for me. Especially with 10 gig and not, not a lot of 10 gig on the motherboard today, but there's some, but not a lot. So you're looking at some technology here that's really far in advance ahead of the ahead of the game, if you ask me. But anyway, just to sum these things up, this is available today through Brocade. I mean through QLogic <laughs> and our partners. And if you have any other questions about this webinar, please feel free to reach out to Steve and myself. Lori. We thank you for joining the call today.